Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons of Dreadmore. So today, well, today we're going to be doing stuff, but last time we finished clearing out a monster zoo, which was tons of experience and tons of fun. But that kind of interrupted our trek back to a shop, because I have too much crap in my inventory, and I'd really like to sell and make some room. So I'm going to head on over here and do it on screen, because it's right over here. Not a big shop, but uh, I can dump off some crap here anyway. Still nothing I want, but let's buy something. Alright, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and actually not quick sell a couple things. I'm just curious price-wise what some stuff is worth. It's like, oh, native platinum, that sounds valuable, when in reality it's only worth 150 Zorknids, so it's like, was it really worth dragging over here? Fungus is actually worth a... Oh, suck, I'm for that. Some fungus is actually worth a decent amount. With the, uh... I don't think I have the skill. Yeah, just checking. I don't have it, but... There is a mushroom farmer skill set you can have that's pretty nice. You can use sp create spores and plant them on the corpses of enemies every... Basically, almost everything you kill, you can do it. And that's just insanely powerful, because you can do it on, like I said, pretty frequently. It's like every 15, 20 turns or something like that. Put these in these bolts. Yeah, why not? Classic bolts. Yeah, whatever, I'm just going to start quick selling. Makeshift bomb. That's a throwing weapon. I'm actually, you know, two, four, yeah, maybe I'll use those. They don't sell for a lot anyway. Ooh, eight Zorknids. That was a good thing to hold on to. Yeah, I'm just gonna quick sell a couple of these things. I need to find more booze too. Uh, spring loaded power core. Eh, I'm not gonna use those. Lock picks, wands, loot fisk, fresh steak. All right, I sold off a bunch of junk. I'm gonna go ahead and sort it, and I'm actually going to pop up onto the first floor in fast forwarding mode and see if I can find that Shrine of the Loot Fisk. Might have been down here, I really don't remember, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, so this will be sped up. Alright, here it is. It was over here on the top right somewhere. I'm gonna just pop down and check the store real quick to see if there's any interesting items I might have wanted, but... Yeah, we have tithe zero pieces of loot fisks. So I have 25. I'm gonna have to go ahead and, uh, tie those. No clue what this actually does. Nothing actually seems to have happened, so... Let's go down the stairs and see where the heck this takes us. Right, where the heck the heck did it take us? Ah, here we go. That's actually almost like the ideal spot to have ended up. As I beat down death itself. Itself. Itself, because it's multiples. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna speed up and clear some of the floor. Why not? <laughs> Alright, and we found another shop here. 
bunch of junk as usual, but uh, different stats on different items. So, on, uh, armor absorption for on boots. Mm -hmm. Dodge bonus for swap to that. Copper ring, electric resistance. My sword is better. Yeah, it's the same helm. Oh, I'm using spectacles. That decreases my magic tag a lot, though, so... Yeah, it's a piece of crap, piece of crap. Let's use the Golemancer's cap. Some sort of resistance. One point of stubbornness. And one point of block chance. But I'd lose... Two dodge chance and one visual sight radius, so not really worth it. And I will, of course, again take this opportunity to sell the crap I've been collecting, so I'm not uh, stuck carrying it around forever and ever. I'm not gonna use those either. Okay. And I'm actually not gonna use that either. Uh, I think that's it. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed back up. Octo. Apparently it's a spellcasting cephalopod with a taste for human brains. I have a lock up. He casts spells though, so that might not actually help. Otherwise, oops, I did not want to move there. I'm just going to blast the crap out of him and hopefully survive. Yeah, sheesh. few turns I can wait here because I did lock him up. There he is again. Alright, let's blast him one more time. Alright, that got him. Kinda looked like a, uh, a little bit like a mind flare or something. And we'll go ahead and speed back up a little here. Oh, here we go. 
I'm not in a good spot right now, and one of the bosses we were looking for decided to spawn right here, right now. So, I gotta... Hopefully he doesn't move. Uh, doesn't look like he does. Uh, we might be okay. I'm gonna close the door on him for a second. Uh, and the boss. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a little bit of food. And if I can find any booze, I should have some. I got some sewer brews. Which I got a lot of pilsner also. Electro lobby. Yeah, I gotta try to conserve my resources a little better than I have been. Actually, go with just so I have constant regen for a little bit. And the wormling does not seem to be able to figure out how to get around the bookshelf. And now I have an enraged diggle to deal with. As I'm going to go ahead and eat some cheese to restore my health, because I can. burning there, so another fireball should actually finish him off. And reward for that quest is a one-armed leather jacket. This is actually an interesting one. What does this one actually offer? It's quite a bit of dodge, but this gives me a lot of offensive stats. Extra health. Hmm. I'm gonna stick with the extra defense, because I'm not too melee focused on this guy, so... Right, we're gonna speed up for just a little more here. And we're coming back to real time because I'm checking out what that actually offers. Yeah. Gives a ranged attack some. Maybe not. What the heck does it actually do? Ah, it adds the savvy. That's a. St eh, wrong word. Yeah. Disarm some traps that's stepping in them as we go speed up. I'll get a little more. Finish off this episode opening up this huge chest of evil. Last time that I believe spawned the mob, we actually found a quite nice looking sword. Let's see what that stat is actually going to decrease enemy dodge reduction. Hmm. Hero never misses, but sometimes their attacks are dodged. Good to know. Well, we won't hit as much, but that adds a ton of damage. I think it'll be 7 plus 4 to... Uh, math fail. 10 plus 3, so yeah, that's an interesting one, definitely. Um, yeah, so we lucked out that evil chest. Next time, we'll... I don't want to say we're going to finish the floor, because it might possibly still be quite a bit left, but... We'll poke around and see what we can end up doing next time. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode of Let's Play Dungeons of Dreadmore. As soon as these last lobbies die, there we go. Have a nice day.